Daniel in Domburg, the Netherlands writes, Hey Paul, I always have to turn up the volume before my speakers come to life. But it's not really enjoyable to listen for longer sittings at this level of sound and volume. I have a Cambridge Audio CXA81 amplifier, and for speakers I have an Audio Vector Q3. Uh, would a higher power amplifier sound better at lower volume levels? Doesn't a certain audio volume need to be the same amount of watts regardless of the power of the amplifier? Well, there's a few things to unpack here, Daniel. Y yeah, you're, let's say you're always using the same pair of speakers. Then to reach the same level, you're always going to have to have the same watts for the same input signal. That is a fact. And whether you get those watts with your Cambridge or whether you get it through a BHK 600, the watts are the same. The quality of those watts matters a great deal. And one of the hallmarks of a great amplifier is not having to play it so loud that it overwhelms you and the room for it to come alive. This amplifier, now I'm not, rec I mean, you've got, your Cambridge is okay, but that, that's the first place I would look. I mean, Cambridge is a, a, a budget brand out of England. They do good work, but it's not even remarkably close. But th these amplifiers are expensive, so I'm not recommending them. I'm just saying, were you to install a pair of BHK 600s in there, uh, your jaw would drop. Y you would all of a sudden go, oh my gosh, at any level I'm listening to it, everything has just come alive. Now, you don't have to spend the kind of money that those beasts require. You can do better. Take one of our stellar amplifiers. They are probably not a whole lot more than your Cambridge, but you'll have that effect of coming to life once you upgrade to something a little bit more appropriate for what you're listening to. So I would have to say, lose the Cambridge, go on a mission and, you know, I, I'm going to self-serving here tell you to get a Stellar, but there's plenty of other products out there that would would suit you, no doubt, and, and that's where I would point you in the direction. The other thing that you want to look at, and I say this probably too often, but I'm going to say it again, setup, okay? Setup matters a lot. These look like they're just kind of plunked down here, but trust me, these took days to get right. These took days of hard, painstaking listening, going back and forth, to get everything to come alive. Now, we have the electronics, we have the speakers that we know will come alive, but without proper setup, you're, you're never gonna get there either. So here's a shameless plug for the Audiophiles Guide. Just, I'm sure you, yeah, of course you have Amazon there. Go to Amazon, pick up a copy, the Audiophiles Guide. Make sure, and this is the first thing I think I would do, grab that book and the CD, go to octavrecords.com and grab the CD, and, and get what you can out of your system using that setup guide. Then go on the hunt for upgrading your amplifier. And I think you're gonna find the listening levels are gonna be what you want, and you're gonna have magic and life in your music, finally. And I don't think it's going to cost you much at all. So that's my advice. All right. Thanks for the question. Good luck with that.